Hi guys, so I thought I'd introduce you to a little pet project that's been going on in the background. This is the 8-bit Swiss Army knife and this is a board for bus debugging, device testing. It's kind of a bit like the retro chip tester. It's probably not as flexible in some respects but way more flexible in others. So we have an STM32F103 here. That's driving these three uh, SPI GPIO expanders. And you can see we've obviously got a board routing problem there. We managed to route one of the USB pins to that. Uh, first version of the board done fairly quickly. We've also got an issue with how that DIN connector sits as well. Um, then we have a general purpose breakout board. And then we have a um, sort of dip adapter. It's not an EEPROM adapter. It's just a general dip adapter. So nothing from here is committed it's whatever this red board is plugged in here that decides what it's going to be we have a address bus and 16 bit yeah 16 bit address bus and 8 bit data bus uh, assigned to one chip so we can do those at uh, single byte or single word access and then the rest is gpio and then we'll just jump it over so we can read this eprom and this is currently running through a serial um, terminal and if we just go e we have our EEPROM here. Uh, this EEPROM is filled, let's wait for it to finish, there we go. This EEPROM is filled with lorem ipsum. Um, that's solely to give a quick visual confirmation that all is well, everything's reading in the right order and everything. And you can see we've got uh, some general sort of English and a character map at the top. And yeah, that will read fine. So that's a test that we can read sort of uh, eight bit device. Um, and yeah, that works really well. So the plan is, is depending on what you want to do, um, you'll change this board. Uh, you've got 40, weight, 40 pin header on here, 40 pin header on here, which means you can use a bit of old IDE cable to go onto the board. I've got a version of this that's got 40 pin round pin headers to go on the, onto a board. And the intention for the first real test I want is to go and explore an undocumented Z80 processor board. So this would allow you to scroll through the address space, take control of the board and actually map out what's where and do a bit of uh, diagnostics on it. Um, there are sort of bus testers around. Uh, most of them are quite old now and those that aren't are horrendously expensive. And obviously we've got a lot of programmed I.O. here, so we can do chip testing, sort of like retro chip tester type stuff. Um, this doesn't have the speed, though. My target speed was one megahertz, and unfortunately we hit just over three kilohertz, so we're not even close. So these are being changed. We're going to change these to at mega 16s, um, which I wanted to keep everything through whole. Um, if I keep the at mega 16s through whole, this board's going to be huge, so... That's not going to happen. Uh, we might go PLCC. I might make carrier boards. I don't know. Um, but the idea is that this is something that can be quickly repaired. And, you know, if you plug it in something, you blow something up, you change the chips. That's easy to do. Um, there are a couple of lines that do go, go direct to the STM32. There is a fast clock, a couple of fast DMA, um, not DMA, a couple of fast um, IO ports. And there are two interrupts as well. So you could say set this up to sequence through an address bus and then connect the they're down here, connect the IO, I'll get there in a minute, connect the um interrupt pins to the chip select of a device you are interested in, and then scroll through until you find that chip select. So it's very early on and it can literally just read ROMs at the moment. Um, and I will add more features. I want to add the ability to test RAM and that. We can't go fast enough to test DRAM with this iteration. I mean, that might come with the next one, um, but we can do things. So one of the things I want to do, um, which I'll probably do today, is see if we can test these little sods, because everybody loves these. And then we've also got a, what's basically an SDRAM with a battery, same sort of thing. Um, and then maybe it might be possible that we can use something like the black pill or blue pill in there to actually make a test harness as well and do some benchmarking. Um, but definitely logic testing is on my mind in there. The ability to map out um, gals that are, oh, what's the word? Gals that don't have the internal buffers, so that are just straight logic equations without any um, flip-flops or anything. 
and uh, yeah we're gonna have to play with this to see where it goes but this is something that i intend uh, eventually open sourcing and releasing to the great wide world <laughs>